This question brings up a lot of really interesting points about how our view of creativity has changed. There was a time when we would, people would say that um, there are only a few people who are creative and that these were the people who had sort of the, the far out ideas. And if you think about it, human beings have made an awful lot of progress for there to just be a few people who are creative, sort of dragging the rest of us along, you know, by the hair. So what we've realized, particularly in the last couple decades, is that creativity is a lot more diverse than that. And in fact, psychologists will now tell you that everybody is creative. Every living human being is creative. But there's great diversity in that. There's lots of variations in the way that we show our creativity. So there are people who are creative in the way that Gia has described. People who have lots of ideas, ideas that might be called visionary, ideas that are kind of out at the, the boundaries of where an organization works. But that's just one kind of creativity. There are also people who are creative in the structure of the organization, maybe down in the core even where things are very meticulous and very careful and they may be offering a smaller number of ideas but they're ideas that are very efficient and that work immediately, more evolutionary ideas. And there's a whole spectrum of what we call creative style that goes from the more evolutionary and structured way of being creative to the more revolutionary and unstructured way of being creative. And every one of us falls somewhere along that spectrum. And then you've got creativity in terms of domain. So I may know a lot about mathematics, and so I'm more likely to be creative in mathematics than someone who knows less. But that person may know more about languages, so they're more likely to be creative in languages. So we've got this huge diversity of what we call level and style. And that whole space is going to be represented, or some part of it, in your organization. So in answer to Gia's question, what do I do to get my ideas across? The first thing you need to think about is what kind of creativity do I have relative to all the people around me? And how do I take my ideas and make them palatable to people who have other kinds of creativity. So if I'm one of the people who thinks revolutionary thoughts, how do I make those ideas look creative to the people who think more evolutionary thoughts? And I have to realize that their view of creativity is neither better nor worse than mine. So maybe I have to take my revolutionary ideas and add some structure to them, make them seem more efficient. And if I'm someone who is more of an evolutionary thinker, maybe I have to make my ideas look less structured and more revolutionary. So it's about seeing the world through the glasses of the other people, people who have other kinds of creativity than you do. And that insight is something that, again, people reading popular magazines and newspapers, they might be bought into the misperception that only certain people are creative. So that's the first step. And the second step, um, in thinking about resistance to change. People who have a different kind of creativity than I do are more likely to resist the ideas I offer. They won't resist every idea. The only people who resist every idea are dead. <laughs> okay, That's it. If you're alive, you're not resisting every idea. You'll resist some. Every single person does. And every person accepts some. So the question is not, gee, what should I do with these people who resist my ideas? But which ideas will they accept and which ideas will they resist? And how do I make my ideas look like ideas they will accept? And this changes, this relationship between the people on a team or in an organization changes over time as the problems change. So we may start out solving a problem where maybe a kind of revolutionary thinking is best first, but as we move through the problem, that kind of creativity becomes less valuable and the more evolutionary structured form of creativity becomes more valuable. That's something else we have to realize over time. So that insight is what's really critical and remembering that everyone is creative, but that there's great diversity in that creativity.